Hey, wait a minute, isn't that the video game? Hey guys, this is my review for Tomb Raider. Sorry it's so late, I admittedly saw it like a, almost a few days ago, and I've been meaning to get around to this review. But I just wanted to rewatch a little few elements of the game, the recent reboot by Crystal Dynamics, and this movie really does take a lot of elements from that game. Not just the story, but elements, like certain sequences from the game are verbatim in the movie. The bomber plane, Laura dealing with pain by like kind of surviving on the island after escaping from the mercenary guys and dealing with self-inflicted wounds. The temple itself, there's a lot of elements from the game that is in the movie. And I have to admit, I enjoyed the film from Elisa Vikander. Admittedly, the first 20 minutes of her in the real, like in England, living and surviving was eh. It wasn't that great, but once they start going to the island, then you're in it. And I enjoyed it up until the villain was introduced. This guy is great. He's a fantastic actor. He's proven himself to be so in the TV show Justified. However, in this, he's... I know he's been on the island for seven years. Yeah, that would suck. That would drive anyone insane. But he doesn't even bother to try and differentiate himself or even try and give this cast a false illusion to Laura. He's like, yeah. I'm a bad dude. And it really lessens any impact and any sort of interaction with him because you just don't really, you're not interested in him because he's just a straight up stereotype villain. However, anytime Alicia Vikander is on the screen, she kills it. She really brings the character of Laura to a realm of reality. It's not as cheesy as the Angelina Jolie ones were, but that's a totally different category in itself. Aside from that though, follows a lot of very rudimentary very stereotype story angles. The means and how er characters interact with each other, the whole plot line is kind of verbatim. You can tell every note, you can tell every step in this story, right up until its almost conclusion. Admittedly, once the secret is revealed, you're kind of like, oh, that's interesting, but it's not going to really hold you over. You're still interested in Laura and her story, but everything around it is kind of fuzzy and boring. There is an interesting interaction with her father. The father character in this is admittedly stereotypical, but it's still not as cheesy as you thought it would be. I actually still think it's enjoyable in certain aspects. There are some cheesy parts, however, but it's not like in your mouth every time there's interactions or throughout the movie. So in the end, Tomb Raider is pretty much a verbatim film of the game. It's very loyal to its source material. I think it's probably one of the better video game adaptations. In terms of a film as itself, it stands out. If you hadn't said it was a based on a video game, I could have believed that. That's how well this film differentiates itself from other video game based movies. I think it does a phenomenal job at being its own, but at the same time being respectful to the source material. But otherwise, you can't help it when the source material itself is also very rudimentary and very predictable. So in the end, I'm gonna give Tomb Raider a 4 out of 7. I didn't think it was that bad. In terms of one of the better video game adaptations in a, in a while, I almost wouldn't disagree. It is one of the best video game movies made in a recent time. It's not the most profitable. They're not gonna make a sequel to it. Any scene with Nick Frost in it, admittedly, is cringe. It is a total cringe fest. The ending is a total cringe fest. They even fucking revealed it in the trailers. But aside from that, it's still a fun time. You might enjoy it if you're a Tomb Raider fan, but in my opinion, I'm still gonna watch the original Angelina Jolie one. That one's just so dumb, it's fun. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.